Welcome back. We're going to be going over how to get around the 99 variant limit problem inside Shopify. I've got two solutions for you. The first one is going to go into how you custom code it in there so you don't have to pay for an app. And the second one, I'm going to suggest an app that makes this very easy and all you have to do is pay 10 bucks a month for it. So let's jump into it. So sometimes you start off building out your business and you have a few products. As your products and your business matures, you have to add more variants to them. Occasionally you'll run into the problem where you've added too many variants and you end up getting to a point where you've reached the limit of variants that you can have inside of Shopify. Now this is the 99 limit problem. So I'm going to show you how to get around this with two solutions. The first one I'm going to show you is how to code around it and how to set up the structure of your store so that you don't run into this problem in the future. The second way is if you run into this problem and you need to expand and in some cases some products do require more than 99 variants. I'm going to show you an app that will allow you to have unlimited number of variants for a single product. So let's jump over to the dashboard. So now that we're on the dashboard what we're going to do is we're first going to go in and we're going to create our products. Now I've gone and created the products already just to help with the speed of this demo but I'm going to pull them up here for you. So I have two products created and they're called 99 problems. So 99 problems if we have a look at the way it's currently set up, it has four versions of, let's go to reorder variants here. So we have four versions of the size. We have small, medium, large, and XL. We have four versions of the color. So we have yellow, red, orange, and blue. And then finally, we have three different materials. So we have cotton, poly, and wool. So what we want to do is we're actually going to um, so now if you have a look at the, uh, the variant down below, you can see this list is quite long and it's actually going to be quite difficult to maintain in its current setup. So the first recommendation that I would give to you is to edit the options so that you only have the size and the color for the time being. Now if you're going to be getting into a situation where you have multiple colors and multiple materials, I would most likely recommend that you actually do this to two steps. So you uh, move out the material and you move out the color so that you're only dealing with the size on that specific product. But for the time being, we're just going to focus on material. So here's what we've got and done. So if we go to products um, and we search 99 products again, what we can see we've done is we've created a new product for cotton and a new product for polyester. So if we go into cotton, the cotton variants still have the same variants as they did before. So if we go to reorder variants here, we can see we have small, medium, large, XL, and we can see we have colors red, blue, orange, and yellow. Now we've set up this exactly the same for the uh, cotton version or the polyester version rather of the same product. Now the reason or the thing to keep in mind is when you're setting up the title you want to make sure that the uh, the variant or the handle that you're using is dash the material and I'll explain why we're going to do that in a moment uh, but for right now when you're setting up your um, your products you want to make sure all of the titles are the same and the only thing that you're going to swatch the, the only thing that's going to be different is the dash material at the end. So now that we've gone and set up the two different variants of small, medium, large and XL with the different color ranges that we have for it, we're going to go over to the theme and we're going to make some adjustments to the theme so that we get an additional drop down menu that's hard coded into our theme so that the user when they come to our page still has the same experience that they would have if they had a three variant option but we're going to change it so that it actually redirects them when they switch the, the variant to a new product page. So if we go into themes and we go to edit code and what we're going to do is we're going to look for the um, snippet for product. So I've gone and pulled up product here and then we want to go down and we want to find variant. So we want to go and find the product variant form. Now this form is what switches out the uh, variants that you have selected for your product and it knows which one to add to your cart. So if we come down here we can see that this is the form action here so we know that we're in the right place. Now we're going to add a little bit of HTML code to our site now so that we can have that drop down. So I've gone and commented out the code that we're going to add and I will, leave a I will leave a link in the description below that takes you over to the blog post so that you can copy and paste this code easily. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to walk through and explain what we've done. 
So I have a select item. So essentially I have one of these guys here. One of these guys is select item. And I've gone and given it a few options. The first option is just simply select material. So it has no uh, value underneath the option other than a slash, which is going to be the URL in a, in a moment. The second option, the value um, is for poly. And I put in the handle of the product that we put in here. Now, as you can see, these both have the same beginning parts of 99 problems and 99 problems dash poly dash cotton. We can further refactor this code um, to make it more efficient. Um, I'm just leaving it like this for the purpose of this demo so it's easy to follow. And then we've given two options, poly and cotton. So if we go and save what I've added in here and we refresh our product page, we will see we now have material showing up. And when we select down, we have poly and we have cotton. Now we just added those HTML. They're not gonna do anything at this point because we need to add some JavaScript, which is going to modify what happens when you change something in the dropdown. So let's head back over to our product and we're gonna go right to the bottom because I've created some JavaScript down here, which is going to redirect the page when you change those dropdowns. So we're using jQuery as a library, um, so it's easy for us to go document ready to say that, okay, now when the document's ready, it's now time to change the dropdown. The first one we're gonna go is select type. So this is the ID of the select field that I used before. So if we come up here, we can see this is the ID of the select type. And then we have set a on change function. So when someone changes the dropdown, it's gonna do some action. Then we have a variable. So the variable we have is selected collection. And we're doing this just to make our code simple and easy to understand so that we can reuse this variable later on down the road. And then we have what we'll call the complicated piss, the, the bit. But we're gonna go of this children object of option selected. So the child object of the selected box, which is the option, we wanna grab the value. Now we added in the value as the handle of the product we want to redirect to. And the reason we did that is because on our next line, where we go window.location.href equals, and then we have slash products because products is the beginning part of the URL structure inside Shopify. And then we're going to append it to selected collection, which is this variable. So now when we save this and we go back over to our store and we refresh this page, we can see what happens. Now, note that I'm on just the basic product right now. If I go and change the material to poly, what will happen is the page will refresh, everything will look the same, but it will redirect you to 99problems-poly. Similarly, if you do 99problems-cotton, it'll redirect you over there. And then that way, you now have your own type of structure where you could have the drop down menu, you can still have the sizes and the colors, but it's now split out and you don't have to worry about the 99, uh, 99 product limit problem. So that's step, that's the way how you do it, number one. The second way to do it is there is an app which is uh, $10 a month that is offered by Bold Commerce. And this app allows you to do essentially what we just self-programmed, but with a few extra features. It allows you to have a GUI where you can move things around, um, you can modify things inside the dashboard. It's a really great app. Um, I've left a link down below in the description on how you get to that app. Um, if $10 a month is inside your budget, then I would definitely recommend going the app solution versus doing a custom coding solution. However, if you want to uh, build it and not have that recurring cost, absolutely you can go and use what I've done here in order to do that. If you guys have any problems uh, getting it installed, please feel free to contact me. We'd be happy to help you out. And that's essentially how you get around the 99 variant problem inside Shopify. Thanks for coming by. I hope this was helpful. If it was, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if that's something that you're into. And we will see you in the next one.